six. A coin is tossed uh, five times. Probability of getting at least two heads and one tail. One tail is. Here, a coin is tossed five times, and we have to find the probability of getting at least two heads and one tail. So, prob. Uh, let us write. Let us write. Uh, let us first write the combinations of two heads, at least two heads and one tail. At least two heads. So these two. This is. Uh, this is one case, and this is at least two head. At least two head means. So it can be three heads, and one tail must be there. So these three. So these three are the cases which are possible for at least two heads and one tail. So this can be uh, this can occur in that means two when whenever we toss a coin five times, probability of possibility of getting two heads and three tails would be in how many ways we can get. Two heads and three tails. That is nothing but five factorial by two factorial into three factorial. Why? Because these two heads are similar. That's why two factorial and these three tails are similar. That's why three factorial. Total five. Five. This is nothing but arranging five things out of which two two things and three things are. Similar. That means total five factorial by two of them are similar. Divided by two factorial and three things are similar. So three factorial. And uh, this can be done in. We can get uh, three heads and two tails when we toss five uh, coins in five factorial by. Three heads, three factorial, two tails, two factorial, and what about this? Five factorial by four factorial. So if we simplify this, five factorial by four factorial is nothing but five, and five factorial by three factorial into two factorial is nothing but ten, and this is also ten. So total number of faces, total number of faces, ten plus ten plus five. This is equal to twenty-five is. And required probability is is equal to favorable cases by. Total number of cases here. Favorable cases is twenty-five, and total number of cases is here. Coin is tossed five times, two power five. So total number of outcomes will be two power five. So twenty-five by thirty-two. So here correct option is option A. So in the given network of AND and OR gates, this is given x not x one is given for AND gate. Again, the output is has one input for the OR gate and the next x two, and like this, the network is like this. We need to find out f. The f can be written as. So here, so initially, if you take the first AND gate, that is, we can have x not and x one, because x not and x one is uh, given for AND gate. So output of one is x not x one. Output of the second uh, gate, that is. X not x one plus x two because this is x not x one that is under operation plus x two. Okay, now this is at the second gate. At the third gate, this must be under two, three. So x not x one plus x two into x three. That means it is x not x one x three plus x two x three. Again. At fourth gate, 
similarly again it followed by r gate now r is some x4 then we have to add x4 to this so finally it is looking like something like x0 x1 x2 finally every time we have to add like this then it will become x0 x1 x3 and so on some xn minus 1 plus x2 x3 x5 and so on xn minus 1 plus and so on plus xn minus 2 xn minus 1 plus xn because the next term will be added here so it is giving this option d as the correct option here what should a and b be in order to make uh, the circuit behave like a t flip flop so given circuit is uh, with the d flip flop uh, with some combination logic is given and uh, some statements are not mentioned that is capital a and capital b so we have to replace a and b with some gates so what should be there at a what should be there at b we need to find out in order to make this act like a t flip flop the given flip flop is d flip flop we have to make this a uh, function like a t flip flop normally the t flip flop is nothing but if the t input is equal to 0 there is no change if the content of flip flop is a uh, 0 it will be 0 the next state will be 0 if the content of a flip flop is 1 the next state is also 1 there won't be any change but when t is equal to 1 it indicates a toggle that means when t input is 1 if content is 0 it will be complemented as 1 if content is 1 it will be complemented as 0 if the t is equal to 1 content of flip flop will be complemented as the next state and if t is equal to 0 there is no change in the state normally if you want to make uh, this like a t flip flop there is one equation then d should be equal to it is t bar q t bar q plus t q bar the d is equal to t bar q plus t q bar so t bar q plus t q bar both are and operations here so a should be and gate and b should be and gate because this will be t bar okay that is t bar t complement this is q here we will get t bar q as it is r gate and here you get a, a q bar here you get t t q bar so t bar q plus t q bar plus we take because it is logical or operation so it will be equal to d so that it will act like a t flip flop so it will be option a is the right option both should be and gates